Hello, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will be discussing the coefficient endoscopic insufflator, more specifically, its theory of operation and best practices for using managed in free flow modes. Let's look at all the equipment we need to begin. The coefficient endoscopic insufflator operates by administering CO2 at a maximum flow rate of 3.6 liters per minute and a maximum pressure of 375 millimeters of mercury. This is similar to the airflow from endoscopic processors. The mode of operation is selected by the operator using the flow mode selection switch located in the middle of the front panel. The mode selection switch allows the operator to choose between free flow or managed flow. To start the flow of CO2, press the flow stop run button. When the switch is set to free flow mode, the unit will deliver CO2 at a maximum flow rate of 3.6 liters per minute continuously. The clinician will then use the air water valve on the endoscope to insufflate the GI tract. When the switch is set to managed flow mode, the system will deliver CO2 in a more efficient manner. Managed flow mode reduces the amount of CO2 that is lost through the air water valve, which is normally lost at a maximum rate of 3.6 liters per minute when the operator is not actively insufflating the patient. When CO2 is not actively used to insufflate, the unit will reduce the CO2 managed flow rate to somewhere between 0.25 and 1 liter per minute. The transition to this managed flow rate will occur at the output port of the insufflator if the endoscopist does not depress the air water valve for 10 seconds. Once the endoscopist restarts the CO2 insufflation by pressing the air water valve, the CO2 flow will return to the maximum of 3.6 liters per minute. There may be a delay of a few seconds or longer to see the increased flow rate at the tip of the endoscope, and this delay will vary based on the endoscope model and the individual patient. If the endoscopist does not depress the air water valve for 10 minutes, you will hear an alarm and the flow of CO2 will stop. You can immediately press the flow of stop run button to resume the flow of CO2. Upon completion of the procedure, press the flow stop run button to stop gas flow. To close the gas supply line, use the valve wrench to close the post valve on the tank by turning it clockwise. Note that the display of the insufflator will show an empty gas supply when the supply tank valve is closed. At this point, the video has come to a conclusion. Please refer to the coefficient operator's manual for full details on instructions for using managed and free flow modes. For further details on all devices shown in this video, please visit www.usendoscopy.com. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.